Yo, oh. there they uh, are. Just how, how, seamless, how seamless was that? That was what's like, up, here we go. What's up, We're guys? Here. What's going on, everybody? All right, B, what's your hat say? Can't see it. What does it say? It's a, a Tokidoki hat. Oh, nice. You're a Tokidoki hat. Yeah. How's what's happening? Weekend? What's happening? Mm-hmm. Not really. It's Wednesday. We're back. It seems like we were. This one doesn't seem so far apart for some reason. I guess because we're busy. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Everybody's doing customs and craziness and doing shows. It's fun. Yep. yep. You, know, you 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 must be loving that card he had. Is that a great fit or what? Well, I have two of them. This is the uh, dark um, uh, camo one, and then I have just a, a pitch black one. But yeah, so I switch between them. But I do love it, and I like to rep. To I like to rep Cardi. And now that they're stretch fit, I, that's yeah. my style. So I need to get one too. Rock, yeah. I need to get you a hat, Rock. It, no, I asking, got a good. I got a couple good hats. I just got to start wearing them a little bit. Attempts is sorry, asking sorry. if it's uh, frozen for anybody else. We're good on our end, I think. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're good. Anybody else in the chat? Ever, anybody in the chat see us? <laughs> We're live, so right. that's silly. Um, it's fine. It's show, fine. Everybody. Yeah, Jason's here. Michelle's here. Attempts is here. Linda's here. Uh, my gosh, Boo of course is here. Who else we got? Who was in here early? I think Chef. Tiny little Tucci. Tucci. Tiny little Tucci. Chef was in here early. Uh, Michelle was chilling. Christina Pang was in there. She's a great mod of everybody. She was in there. There you go. Awesome. So what did you guys pick up this week? Anything? Anything fun? Uh, I've been trying not to buy stuff, honestly, but I did unbox something. Um, what did you unbox? Oh, nice. I, Nikki Davis piece that I won. Nice. That was so rigged. I was there. I was rigged. <laughs> okay. I yeah. did pick up a Nikki Davis card today. Really? Yeah, he drops, uh, yeah, he he drops, drops some DIYs some. on his website today. Yeah, I, I got one, too. I got the last one, actually. Oh, which so one was the, it? The pink one, right? Yeah, the pink mushroom. I, t- I like I like it because it's Nikki, but it was, I wanted the purple bear, but I didn't get it. Oh, I told, I see, I told Dondo, I was like, hey, these are available. Did you buy one already? The purple bear's available. And he's like, thanks for letting me know, and I just bought it. So oh. Dondo, Dondo has your purple bear. That's fine. That's fine. That's so fair. it's in the family. It's in the yeah, family. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, I also didn't pick up really anything this week. It was kind of a light week from a mail call standpoint. So how about you rock anything? Uh, I, I grabbed a ton, a, a case of these. Remember the swear bear that I had up that mm-hmm. Irish one, the oh, one yeah. that's that thing was flipping off the, I bought it. Somebody had a case. I bought a case of them. I'm going to use them for customs. So I'm paint over them and they will be a perfect platform for customs. So, well, speaking of customs, that's a perfect transition because today we're kind of talking about resin toys and all things resin. And you yourself uh, in the past, how how long was it ago now that you actually dug into this? It's been a little over a year or two years. Two, now? two, not last, not this last uh, designer con. The designer con before, okay, it wasn't resin. These were uh, the the plastic uh, printed. Oh, the three D printed was this. Was this guy right here, Boomer, and Flurry next to him, and those are the two that I had at Decon, and then it. So it's been two years for the toy, and then I got into resin probably eight, six months after that, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's been quite the journey. You've been killing it. Um, we also have a, a, a pretty cool guest on today that's kind of got a similar path, but only takes a different approach in how he creates his resin pieces. And that's going to be really cool here in a few minutes, guys. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to dive into that at some point just to play around with it. Cause it's, it seems fun. Well, we, t- we talked this week a little bit about it and he's going to help me do my first uh, mold so I can Ooh. play around with it. You know, Ooh. that's the hardest part for me and wrapping my head around doing a mold. I just, I, I, I it's not, I can't do it. So yeah. You, yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. You do yeah. have to, and he, he's going to kind of explain the process, right? Because I'm interested to learn how. That yeah, works. I'm. A, I want to know the whole process. I know there's. I know there's one way where you could. I mean, it's probably different from what professionals do, but you can basically you sculpt something out of or whatever, and there's like a like a latex like a liquid that you can pour on it, and then it sit it sets, and then it's basically the mold. Yeah, um, breaking apart. It's, it's it's a very very 
detailed process. I, don't know. I, I can't wait to learn. I can't wait to learn about it. So we, we've also got before we get to uh, the, the man of the hour here, we also got a pretty cool thing. So stick around to the very end, guys, because uh, tonight we have our boy all the way from Aussie, uh, Rux One, who's doing a very special giveaway. And uh, if you haven't gotten in by now, it's probably a little too late. Um, Rux, you can type in the chat if you are allowing entry still. But um, the entries have been going on for a couple of weeks, and he has a one of one custom art piece by him and Brain Deef. And uh, those are going to be given away at the near the end of the show. So stick around tonight. Yes. Um, I, I'm. <laughs> there's so many things. My brain is like, there's so many things going on that it's, and it's not like, there's some stuff happening like right now, like in the next week or two. And then there's stuff not happening until the summer. That's just like so many things going, so many different uh, shows and customs and people's new drops. I'm just, I'm so excited for the rest of this year. It's yeah. pretty crazy. It'll be a fun year. Yeah. Yep. Well, speaking of one of those events, uh, actually, if you guys uh, follow DT4 underscore live over on IG, you can find out all of our upcoming shows and guests. But we can tease that uh, in two weeks on the 10th of April, we are coming back live with um, Benny from Tenacious Toys to talk all about his new custom show that you and B are both in. Yes. And and a lot of the community that the rest of the people that are in it uh, are friends of ours. So they probably know that all the people in it. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, I know isn't like I, you guys probably know better who's in it. Maybe tease a few of the names because Sketchy's um, in there. Sketch yeah. is in there. DXE. Tucci. Tucci. Grimly. DXE. Glass. Uh, Inc. Glass Inc's in there. Glass mm -hmm. is in there. And then there's a couple Sketch. that uh, that Mr. <laughs> Mars, Mr. Mars brings is bringing in some people too. So nice. It's gonna be yep. a good mix. It's gonna be yeah. pretty awesome. Yep. Cardi. Yep, Cardi. Cardi. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty exciting because uh, it's, it's it's like a nothing thing, but I, I looked at like our table drop cloths uh, for for the signage for for Collected Con all the way in August. So I'm starting to kind of get excited because there's just like little things that keep popping up behind the scenes with all of us. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a disco ball that like projects the DT4 logo on the table. Laser, a laser show, yeah. Oh, sad, sad, I'm sad. Sad, sad. Anna's gonna make an appearance, and uh, do, hey, no, DJ, DJ, sad Anna, DJ, yeah. sad Anna. We're gonna have spray paint bombs that occasionally just go off and just. <laughs> wow, this is intense. Yeah, I just, no, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Just don't, don't miss it. Uh, speaking of collected con, though, our guest tonight actually is also going to be sharing a table with one of our friends in the community, Bigger and Toy Queen. And he uh, himself will be at Collected Con. So, what do you say? Should we bring him in? Yes. Yeah. Philip, are you ready? I, he's sitting there pounding whiskey. So, I gotta, let me make sure he's. Always. I kind of hope they're at the same booth next to us. What's up? Hey, everyone. What's up, everyone? Philip, hey. you go, man. Hey, everyone. Loving the backdrop. We got to say that first. Thanks. Off. I, let me turn these lights on. Always. Every every time he streams, I'm like, let's see a tour. Let's see a tour. I know. Yeah. His collection is great. I, I, I have to say that you, you, the two people, I don't know how the quads are set on everybody else's screens, but the two people that are next to each other right here, the Saldanas and Philip, are the two that I emulate when I try to think of like ways to display toys in a, in a very clean and, and, and cool looking way. Because uh, you guys both kill it like on your displays. It's sick. I got, I got, I got nothing on Philip, man. Oh, I don't know about that. One section. I don't know about the first, that. <laughs> the first time I ever saw Philip do a show, I was like mesmerized by his background. I wasn't even really watching what he was doing. And I was like, oh my God, babe, what is that thing back there? And like the whole time I'm like Googling all the stuff that he has in the back. <laughs> so let's, for this, for some, I, I think everybody, I'm looking at the chat. It looks like pretty much everybody here is going to know Philip at uh, some way or another. But Philip, give us, give us your like, when you started, like how you started in this whole journey of resin printing and, and give us the beginning part. And then we want to learn about all what it takes to do it, what you do. Okay. Um, I'm Philip. I, uh, Hi, Philip. One L. Just one L. <laughs> yeah. One L. Well, welcome, Philip. This is, this is, 
<laughs> I feel like it's an AA meeting or something. Well, you know, you know, I'm kind of, I'm a little shy. Anyways, um, yeah, I make uh, cast resin owls, and I've been doing it for about a year now. And um, yeah, I've got a few different characters. Um, yeah, let's, let's take let's take a step one step back even further. Cool, those, thank you. For those people who don't <laughs> know you, uh, let's set it up a little bit. Philip has been uh, in the whatnot community since pretty much day one. Uh, you um, first and foremost are a collector, as you can see behind you with all of your beautiful uh, collection, of which some maybe we'll show off tonight. We'll see. Sure. Um, and then you uh, were a streamer on whatnot for a long time, and now you do mm -hmm. some pop shop live. So prior prior to your uh, there's a little wise owl. Prior to your uh, House of Wise ventures, talk a little bit about your journey and kind of how you got into collecting, uh, you know, what brought you to whatnot and all of that. Sure. Um, so uh, I started collecting back in like 2006. Um, Kid Robot was like all that I knew. Yeah, that's a good one that Rock's got for sure. I love it. Um, Kid Robot was all that I knew. Uh, they were kind of like really the, I mean, Key, key toys like Toy 2R and Bear Brick, you know, started maybe a couple years before them. But at a rec there was a record store in Denver that sold like kid robot stuff, uh, fat caps and dunnies. And I just thought they were really cool. Um, you know, I was like a, a skateboard and I worked at an online skateboard retailer and I was a buyer there. And uh, a lot of the accounts that I, um, was responsible for was like more of the like streetwear brands like upper playground and 5024 sf where like a lot of artists like sam flores and jeremy fish uh obey was another one of our accounts 10 deep it was just really like a uh, urban sub not urban so to speak but like just a subculture of like you know i don't know it was just a different it was still kind of like I don't know. It was like streetwear, right? Like they could be associated with skateboarding, but not necessarily like just with skateboarding. Um, but it had like the same attitude about it, you know, it, and Jeremy fish had a lot to do with, uh, and still does have a lot to do with skateboarding. He does a lot of collabs with a shop here in Denver called three of three actually. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, it just seemed like a natural transition. Sam Flores, uh, and 5024SF made a lot of like vinyl figures that were blind box. Uh, Billy Bronze was like the character that he made um, that was, uh, you know, just like in the blind box series. And that just kind of like introduced me to all that stuff. And, um, you know, I, I hadn't gone to college yet. I was like 24 years old and I had like, you know, just more money than someone that age should it have at the time so i had like a lot of expendable income and i was just buying a bunch of shit you know can i cuss i don't i'm yeah, sorry no, you, okay. as long as you don't go too crazy yeah. yeah i'm not yeah okay cool be myself yeah um so do it it's fine so, okay um so yeah and then you know i mean the 2008 happened the skateboard online retailer went bankrupt and we got bought out and the new buyers laid everybody off and moved to Chicago actually. Um, Way to go, Ditto. You're called Ditto. Yeah, thanks, dude. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so I was like, you know, maybe I should go to school. I was much older and more responsible at that time, uh, you know, and made the poor decision to go into journalism. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've been doing that for like ever, um, like 13 years, but, uh, and then you found what not, what happened? Like how, yes, okay. so the pandemic happened, my friend, Brandon Hoover, who is still on whatnot as Hoof nasty. And he sells like a lot of random stuff, um, introduced me to it. And like, I was like, Oh yeah, that's what I need. It's like, I have it, you know? <laughs> um, and, uh, Funko was pretty much the only thing that they sold there. And, uh, and I just kind of was like, yeah, cool. You know, like it brought me back to like collecting. I still had a bunch of my old kid robot toys. Um, but before I had gotten back into collecting, I sold a bunch of them on Mercari, which is like kind of a bummer now. 
Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, I didn't know that I was going to get back into it at the time. And then when I came back, you know, I started, um, I met like so many people that were into like designer toys and stuff. And it, it had just, the, the scene had just grown like exponentially, you know? Um, and like my first foray back into collecting was uh, Tech 63s from by uh, Quicks and Martian Toys. And like, you know, like I was just like, God, you know, a hundred dollars for a, a toy, you know, it's like, that's crazy. So I like reluctantly bought one. Cause I was like, Oh, Funko's cost like 20 bucks, you know? And it's like, um, and then it's just kind of, you can see. Well, now, now you've curated your, your, uh, pieces. Um, I, I think I can speak to this. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, Philip, but a lot of us dive into a rabbit hole and then it's like completionist hell. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's how it is for me anyway. Um, so you seem like you, you've done what I'm trying to strive to do now, which is kind of gone by like a display more than you have maybe, uh, you know, trying to be a completionist. Is that accurate or? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's impossible. To, like, you, you know, you, a body likes too much stuff to complete everything. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Like, smaller figures is more tangible obviously but you know oh, if you're like, oh. you, you, you think it's possible <laughs> yeah it's like i need every bear brick ever made you know it's like that's insane because there's hundreds of them same thing like you know i can't imagine when you get to the point that like grouper and bd are at with their tech collection you know like or, needing, or even like bd's chomp collection like, right yeah. needing that one super hard to get figure or my you know? soda collection that's no more yeah exactly yeah you know it's like i need this one and there's yeah. like 10 of them and it's 10 years old like where am i gonna find this uh and it would just drive you mad so yeah i just kind of like to get what i like so who are a few of your favorite um, artists that you collect? I know you've got some that probably are. Um, yeah. So like my favorite resin artist is hot actor. Um, I, my favorite like brand to collect would be sank toys. Um, yeah. And uh, you know, quicks too. Like I like, you know, he's kind of gone away from, martian you know and he's making like a lot more sofubi figures so like he's got the boncho tech figure that's like see i love that i like yeah, that uh, yeah i've got a couple of these i like um you know and sofubis are nice uh it's like just a different method to make a vinyl figure and um yeah you know uh, pop pop mart is always like a really quality Mighty uh, Jacks, always really good quality too. Mighty Jacks too, yeah. Like I got a couple of those. Yeah, those two are Mighty Jacks. So I, I um, know what night when at least what what you showed your first like customs were you custom this uh, like a, a bear break with the same kit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There it is. Um, and nice. then you, slowly after that you started getting in, into resin. Mm -hmm. right? So is that just kind of like you trying to figure out what you like to do the most? Then um customizing is kind of tough i'm not that great at it so like i figured you know i don't i thank you but like i don't know it's just it requires a lot of patience um i was kind of just like slapping stuff together to like you know at the time when i made sank brick like sank and bear bricks were like my two favorite things to collect so it just kind of seemed like a good uh thing to mash up um i was selling a lot of bear bricks on whatnot at the time um and uh you know i had like an extra blind box because i was like chasing the chases from um sank and uh so i had like an extra uh, several extra heads for those and i just mm -hmm. kind of put them together i am gonna make a resin version of those um that'll be cool I just need to, I mean, I've got all the pieces, like I just need to make the mold for it and yeah. do it. So pri prior to like, you know, you kind of coming together with two of the toys that you like to collect and having extras and saying, Hey, this is kind of a cool concept and putting that together. Had you ever dabbled maybe years ago, like in, 
being kind of creative and putting anything together or any kind of art or was this something that just kind of the collecting inspired it? I mean, which, which um, you know, I mean, I went to culinary art school before I went to like regular college. So like cool. nice. cooking kind of mashes up things like that, you know, yeah. but I don't want to call that any kind of a inspiration necessarily, maybe subconsciously, art. but like, yeah, you know, um, toys are your food for your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you you and Rock kind of have similar journeys then. I mean, you took a little different path to get there. Rock, I know, has, you know, created things like jewelry and stuff, you know, in the past for years. But with the resin figures and kind of in this community and the designer toys, it kind of, I feel like you guys both kind of hit it right at a time where they were even blowing up more than maybe they have for the past few years. Uh, you know, I know there was the rabbit hole of COVID where everybody got collected and went crazy, but a lot of that was Funko and, you know, Lego and other stuff. And now these designer toys, even though they've been around really are kind of exploding a little bit more. And I think uh, it'll be interesting. I'd like you and rock maybe to kind of talk a little bit about your journeys and, and then I know Rock's going to want you to get into kind of your process because it is much different than Rock's. But yet at the same point, you guys put together very cool characters and uh, very popular characters, especially I, I love your I've told you this before, Philip. I love the brand and I love the simplicity of the brand. It's very cool. Thank you. Thank you. And I think I think it's um, people wanted something more just unique out there, just different. Like that's why customs started getting popular. We all got maybe burned out or started to slow down on, you know, there's only so many, you know, blind boxes you can buy. And, and I, with me, I made it on the PLA printer first and I'm like, okay, I want more detail. I want it. I want this thing to look super detailed. I don't want to have to try to sand out all these print lines. And um, so I went to a factory to get it printed for me and they wanted like a hundred dollars to print one of my figures via resin. I'm like, I'm going to just learn how to do it myself because I'm not going to, I, there's no, you could never sell a piece when you're paying a hundred just to get the piece. Like it's, it, it just, unless it's a one off and you just want to keep it. Um, you know, but that's why I started because I wanted to, you know, do it in house and have control over how many I make, you know, what I put out when, and not have to worry about deadlines from other people, you know? So, that's how I started. And that's why I started. But and then it just got crazy after that. All the figures started coming out in my head and wanted to put them, you know, to a figure to actually make them come to life. And it's it's been a lot of fun. People you, you don't realize prolific. the amount of work it takes to get it from the printer alone. Just once it's off the printer, the process it takes to make it complete and to start painting it and to all of that stuff. Um, and I keep telling myself I need to do a video and post it and show it off, mm -hmm. but it, it is a time consuming thing. And I've always w wondered about your process because I know my process, of course, but I don't know what it takes. Like, I know you have to polish your figures right after they're done and, mm -hmm. um, you know, don't know what that looks like. And I, it's just interesting that you can get two separate products, but they're both your fig, your personal figures, you know, mm -hmm. um, but that's how I got started. And what made you get into your first figure, Philip? Um, first owl that you did. I just wanted to. So, like, Lucifer is another uh, resin artist who's been kind of. I've like never really had any conversation of substance with him before, but like, um, you know, his his the the simplicity of his figures the the sh not in like a negative way you know but just like how let me grab one really quick you can probably see like comparison or similarities um you know so it's like it's a flame you know and like the legs are just two pieces of wood and mm -hmm. so yeah what's, and that's, the artist, uh, what's the artist's name for that lucifer l-e-e-c-i-f-e-r Okay. So, I mean, you know, it's very, like, as far as the base goes, just mm -hmm. two stumps, you know, that, like, support it. And and to me, the, the art comes with what you put in it. Yeah. So, like, it just, it just serves as, like, a, a simple base to create within, you know, and that's, that's kind of, like, why this one is so, uh, 
like simple. Um, so it, wise, right? it can allow, yeah, this is the OG figure. So this was like the first one that I made. Um, we have a couple of those, I think. That's and awesome. yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, thank y'all. Um, and you know, it just allows a platform to whereas like the design, I'm sorry, Nora. Hey, we're, hey, we're a dog friendly show get, here. It's okay. Get Nora a piece of steak or something. I love Nora. Nora like, has gotten huge. I remember okay. I saw I saw Philip on a Instagram live yeah. and it was a puppy. It was like this big. It was like so small. And now it's it's over his head and he jumps on his lap. <laughs> yeah, she's big. Philip, <laughs> Philip, no worries, man. We are a dog friendly show here. <laughs> it's just a squeaky. You're gonna hear me. The squeaking was becoming incessant. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it just, um, and it was, you know, when I, when I made this, I was very new to like nomad and 3d sculpting and everything, but like I, I was eager, you know, and I wanted to, um, I wanted to start making it, you know, I wanted to continue to create because like, it, it makes me very happy and i've come i'm sorry i'm gonna leave the screen one more time um <laughs> i you know i've got my very first brooke said he was vibing to the the squeakiness <laughs> yeah. i, I kind of was too i'm just so used to it so I, i'm gonna show you guys while he's doing that look look how many, we've got a lot yeah, so yeah, we've nine, got this yeah. little guy and i i think maybe this was like a miscast or something that i bought but he has no way i love him <laughs> i think he's a perfect little shelf sitter i think I've, he's so you. I've got a bunch of those. I've, I've keep most of them. Um, I put them in like my plant pots, yes. you know, like my, my flower pots, and they just kind of sit in there. I've got some Ophelias where like the legs didn't finish uh, as well. Same thing. So this was like the very first cast that I did. Um, <laughs> y'all, y'all invited it. Back in. Go, Philip. Um, so it's much bigger. You know, as you can see, uh, but My it's full of nuts. My dog thinks it's playtime. Right. Um, it's full of bubbles. It's got like a huge hole there. Uh, I, this was before I had a pressure pot. Like I didn't know what I was doing. I'm, I'm very much self-taught. Like I did reach out to Gino at Ghost Fox Toys, uh, and he helped talk me through some of the issues. Like you can see, his leg isn't finished there. Yeah, they um. I got one of those little dudes too, but I mean, I, like, I, I have like, a box. I mean, I a huge moving box too. full of misprinted stuff that you could rip parts off of. You could, you know, make customs out of them. I kept all mine. So, I mean, it's really cool to see like the evolution, you know, like the process. Oh, totally. And like when I look at this thing that's like full of bubbles, misshapen, I put it in front of a space heater to like try to cure it. Like I literally did no research before I started doing this stuff. Um, <laughs> You know, and like, and just, you know, to compare the two, like, it's just night and day. Um, and I'm, I'm very happy with like the progress that I've made, but, uh, I mean, I've stuck to like the same kind of approach with like what goes inside, you know, it's just clear with some cellophane flakes, which is like, you know, something that exists pretty regularly in my, uh, in my catalog. Um, nice. So what's but the, to your point about the miscast rock, like people love those things. I have shows yeah. where like I just sell miscasts, you know, and like because they're they're I don't remember who it was that said this, but they're like genuine one of ones, you yeah, know. They are, yeah. Um, yeah. But when you start painting them and stuff, for me, I was thinking of this yesterday when I knew you were coming on. It's like every one of my pieces is a one of one uh, as for painting purposes, because I either screw it up in one way or another and have to fix it or do a different color you know, combo or whatever. Um, so the, each one of them have a one-on-one touch to it, you know? For sure. For sure. And like, it's impossible to get, I mean, you even look at the, the, the big pros, you know, like fifth turtle and hot actor and like, you know, they'll run a series and it's all like in the same theme, but like, no, no one is exactly the same as the other. Yeah. 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 Now you uh, you started with the OG well, Wise Owl and uh, mm -hmm. tell tell people because I've asked you this story a couple of times actually you and I have chatted behind the scenes and I told you how much I love again the simplicity of the name and just how you know it's just a it's a very cool concept at least in my mind and I think a lot of people share that that sentiment Thanks. so where did you come up with the name Wise how did that come to you oh it's just a clever pun 
I'm gonna spell it with a Y and a Z to give it that edge. A little edge. You know, Fine. and then people uh I don't know if they have these down in Texas. Wise potato chips. Yeah, well, yeah. Y'all know you know wise down in down south they sell those too, I think. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, I was born I'm from South Carolina originally. Um and I have I was telling my friends back home about it, you know, they're like, Oh, like the potato chip, and I'm like, Oh shit. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, is there, there, tri trivia question for DT four end of the year, guys. Because uh, their mascot is an owl. Why too. Is it, yeah. why is potato chip? Really? And, and, yeah. and a, a fun fact on this same word, my mother and my dad, my stepdad, his last name was Wise, W I S E. And that's oh, my mom's really? last name. So we got the yeah. wise thing going. Yeah. Now, since then, you've created a couple other owl characters. I know I, have, uh, I got this bad boy right that's there. That's like one of the – that's a PLA. My first printer also was like a 3D PLA printer, and they're just terrible for like – Yeah, they just don't – Unless you want to drop thousands of dollars on one, which I'm like not inclined to do. Yeah. yeah. Especially because you can get like a good resin printer for like a third the price of that. And for my purpose of using a resin printer, I just do it to make the mother figure – to make the molds, you know? Mm -hmm. So like I even skimped out on that, so to speak, you know, I mean, yours, Jim are much nicer than mine. Um, I mean, you can, you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars on resin ones too. It's just built on size. If you, how big right. your figures you want to do. Right. Um, but they've come a long way and they've come down in price a lot. Yeah. Really I think I paid like 200 for mine. Yeah. It's like the Mars three pro. Yeah. What uh, talk talk to us about the evolution of your characters now? How many different owls do you have? What are their names? Um, so yeah, that one is one. There's only like three of those. Uh, ditto um, of the one you just showed. Uh, I've got three others that like I need to paint, but again, I'm like shit for it. So um, I, they're just sitting on my shelf. Ditto, you got the you got one of two that I picked up for you at Decon. Yeah, yeah, the eye fell off. I don't know. I think this this little dude, I, I love him. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Love yeah, the, the micros are dope. Yeah. So I've got the OG figure. I've got Ophelia, who has like since been retired. Um, this one? Mm -hmm. She's retired? I didn't retired? know that. For now, that size at least. Uh, I think I may cool. make her bigger, but um, I'm not I sure. I don't know. Figure. Ophelia thank is you. one of my faves. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people did like her. She's faceted kind of and like, you know, not in not in like a heady metaphorical faceted way, but like she looks like she's faceted. Um, you have a word yeah. of the day ca uh, ca uh, calendar, don't you? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> the journal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, it's just right, the, right. yeah. Um, so what's the, so you have Ophelia's gone and then you just came out with the one that's sitting, right? Yeah. So this is like the seated wise sits end is what it's called. Uh, Andrew won that one. Andrew uh, sent your package off on Monday. Uh, he won one for coming up with the name for it. Um, Mine's kind of wanted... Rupert. I'm just saying. His name oh yeah, that's fine. Rupert. 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 That's fine. Yeah, it, you know, you're more than welcome. Rupert is, is fine. <laughs> and then you had, um, the Zen. you had the Zen one. Um, yes, I did not sculpt that one. That was just kind of like while I'm working on something fresh, I'm going to make this um it's, it's, i don't have any near too. me yeah it's really nice uh it takes a lot of resin to make um and uh you know i don't know s s again like since i didn't everything that i've done to this point is like something that i've i've come up with so like i try not to put too much plus i've got the new uh little kawaii's figure that i'm gonna try to like focus on more uh this guy oh, i saw that on instagram yeah um that one that's cute thank you um and he's like uh yeah he's pretty good and heavy um and then i've got sullen which is like my most underappreciated yeah vinyl said, vinyl said justice for sullen yeah <laughs> that's funny um yes. this is him you know he, he's very plain uh but his head's cocked down a little bit you know uh it's keep kind of balanced. like you got to keep them balanced. Yeah, um, he stands. Uh, I know that's not what you meant, but um, yeah. yeah, there's that's going to be my PSL show tomorrow. It glows like a, a lantern. It glows really well. 
Um, what, time, what time is that show, Philip? Let's plug that. 6.35 Mountain. So that's what time Eastern? 8.35 Eastern. 8.35 Eastern, 5.35 Pacific. Yeah. 7.35 Central. There's nobody goes right. to Central or that's... Mountain, but we'll promote <laughs> it. <laughs> PSL, guys. Philip is it's launching his brand new figure tomorrow. So yeah, I've got ready. one tomorrow, and that's it on the screen now. Uh, and it glows like really well if you want to click the to the next slide on that post. Wow. Um, In yeah. two different colors. That yeah. Gorgeous. Now to to make a, a, a poured resin glow, is it the resin itself or is it the powder that you put yeah, in? Yeah, well yeah, I put mica powder in it. And um yeah that's the meditating one there. Uh grouper owns that one. That was a claim sale that I did. And it's full of little micros. Um, That's awesome. I love it. So I have Sullen, and like nobody really likes him, which kind of makes me sad because that guy? Little me. Red, red and gold dude. I don't think that's his. That's not me. That's a. Uh, I got that from the Losslings. It's like a little Daruma. Um, I'm surprised Sullen stands. Like he, he looks. Yeah, like he he does. Head. Um, he does have a big head. He he's pretty like let me see if i can move that down to where you can see it thank god you have pants on tonight yeah <laughs> i mean you can kind of see that he's like standing there yeah, you know? yeah. So i'm on my laptop so like i can't really like give a good demonstration of it um but he's del he's delicate in standing because he does have that top heavy head his feet aren't very big that is uh, you, one plus to resin pouring is that they're more sturdy like um you know with resin printing you got an arm sticks out way far it's, it's prone to break and um you know yeah they're very chunky um yeah. i've definitely dropped figures before and like had nothing happen to them yeah. um here's one that i haven't really done anything with is only printed him Ooh. is this a sneak peek right here yeah that might be my favorite so far. Oh, um, yeah. cool. I need to fix his feet. They're, I put little pegs on the bottom of them so they can have vents when I'm pouring the resin yeah. into the mold. I need to figure out how I'm going to like take it, it's It's going to be complicated to like pull from the mold without because uh, the wings are pretty fragile. I, I think I just yeah. need to like chunk it up a little bit more. But this is kind of like what it's going to look like. And I'm going to put resin cool. eyes in in the circles there it looks like his his uh i guess the ears are very delicate as well yeah they are um yeah. and they've got two like layers to them i don't that's, know if you can like, cool. see the the notches there but uh yeah, yeah that's something that i'm just kind of working on the beak is more profound and um that's what i like about having the resin printer too is like i can sculpt this thing and then just like print one out you know, and test it, yeah, yeah, and it takes a few hours, but like, so you use Nomad and you sculpt mm -hmm. it digitally, then mm -hmm. you print it on a resin printer, mm -hmm. and then from there, I have I use uh silicon, silicone, like liquid silicone, like what yeah. he was mentioning earlier. Okay. Um, and it's like a two part solution and okay. one to one by volume. And uh, I used the 30A density, which is like the firmest. Okay. Mix it up. I make a, you know, I get like cardboard or like a solo cup or something like that. And if it's cardboard, you know, I hot glue it together to lock all the seams. And then I put it on a base and hot glue around the base so it doesn't leak out. And um, then I pour it and it takes about eight hours to cure uh, depending on, so I've got a vacuum chamber. I haven't used it yet. I've had it for like six months, probably. Um, right now I'm just putting it in the pressure pot to pull all the air out of it while it cures in that, so because I always wondered how that works. You just, I guess you just put it in the pressure pot and as it's curing, it's just constantly just sucking out the air. That way yeah. It just forces all the bubbles out. Um, yep. Whereas the vacuum, you know, would suck them out. So when I first started doing it, I, you know, I didn't have a pressure pot. I couldn't figure out why, like, couldn't figure out how to get rid of the bubbles without. And like, you, you either need to put the, you can put the resin in a vacuum chamber too, and it pulls all the bubbles out as well. 
But when you're pouring it, you know, there's a slight likelihood that air will get back into it. So I like to use the pressure pot when I'm curing my resin. Um, but uh, uh, I'm sorry. So all told, <laughs> to make to make one resin figure, how long does it take? Um, Once you have the mold, like the mold's already done. So, you know, I'll pour, my pressure pot can fit about eight to 10 molds in it. Okay. And so I'll accommodate for that. Oh, I was talking about how I make the mold. Yeah. Um, and um, real quick, let me go back to that to finish yeah, about yeah, the mold sure. making. The reason you have to get all the air out of the silicone when you're doing it is because when you go to pour the resin in and cast it, in the pressure pot, this is only if you do it in the pressure pot, um, the bubbles escape. Resin gets incredibly hot while it's curing and the bubbles escape, but it'll try to escape out of everywhere, not just the vents, uh. if the silicone is soft enough for it to go out that way. And it makes impressions within the silicone and the, um, the casts get like little champagne bubbles on the outside of them because mm -hmm. it gets stuck in the silicone. Okay, so... Um, not including the mold, because that's something that I can use multiple times. I I try to create, you know, three or four molds at a time when I do it so I can make the casts in batches. Um, I've, you know, I'll pour it for about, I use slow curing resin so I can be methodical and deliberate and, uh, you know, allow for like, the romantic, um, uh, literarily romantic version of intimate with it, yeah. um, without it curing well, on me. The wrong kind of resin, then. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need some other resin. <laughs> um, it, it, it'll cure. I love. I leave it in the pressure pot for about twelve to thirteen hours. Wow. wow. So yeah. again, I think, you know, for people that are out there that like your figures or, or like any, anybody who creates a resin figure, there's, a, I mean, this is hand craftsmanship. This is something that blood, sweat, tears, love has been poured into this. So keep that in mind when you're buying these figures from these uh, artists like Philip or rock or, you know, the fifth turtles of the world or whoever, um, they are putting a lot of time and effort into each one of those pieces. So and like, you know, it, it's a lot of trial and error. I poured two last night. Um, and like, this doesn't happen to me very often, but both failed miserably. Like the top halves didn't cure. And you don't know that for 12 to 13 hours until you go pull it. Um, so I, I try to do it at night while yeah. and allow it to cure while I'm, you know, I'll finish it. I'll start at like eight thirty, nine 9 o'clock, you know, do them and then you know, go to bed around like 11, wake up, eat breakfast, shower, et cetera. And then I'll pull them. So it's, it's frustrating. I know that because with resin printing the way I, you know, with, with actually printing, they, you, there's so many things that can go wrong. Humidity, weather, temperature, cold, uh, levelness of the machine, you know, the plate that comes on and off the machine that the figures attached to, if that gets loose, which it does throughout your printing process, that comes off level, it'll screw up a whole print run. Like it's so frustrating. I'll have some that were like, when I am printing, where like, it'll only print one leg, you know? Yeah. And I'll have, you know, I print three or four at a time as I'm sure you do as well, you know? And like just one will only have one leg. It's like, what the? F Ditto's what? cows, Ditto's cows for some reason. I, I would put like five or six on a plate and two would print the rest would be like yeah they would just yeah and no rhyme or reason at all right. to it as far as my novice ass knows you know i mean yeah maybe do a legless cow and then he and legless <laughs> guys can sit together there you go there you go just a flat-bellied cow oh, yeah. ground, ground, ground beef. oh my gosh <laughs> so that was what's fine the, what's the uh the how do you uh sand not sand them but how do you buff them out like what do you how do you make okay them yeah so i do I, I wet sand them and i go from i started a 320 grit and i go all the way up to like 3500 so i'll do 320 um 
400, 600, 800, 1500, 2500, 3500. That's a lot. Wow. It takes me about, I mean, and that's another good reason that they're so small, you know. Um, but sometimes it's easier to work on, like, there's a lot of surface area on this one, but it's, it's all, it's very plain, you know what I mean? So, like, mm -hmm. I don't need to really get in there. Plus, with the 3D printer now, I mean, when I was using my PLA printer, <laughs> You know, it was a nightmare. Um, with the 3D printer now, I'll sand that before I make the molds. Make it and um, I, I do have a sanding bib, uh, Tucci. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's a lot. That's I can imagine lot. Ophelia was hard to sand. Yeah, it. she she is because she's got like you know around the neck, under yeah. the neck, yeah, um, and then her tail. Mm -hmm. has a part where like you know i've got to get on the sides of it uh same thing with the sits in like it's got the the oh, yeah. you know in here it goes down um so there's like little minor imperfections within that but like i don't know one of my biggest problems is like you know i i am a, a photojournalist so like i have a penchant for things needing to be as perfect as possible yeah. and you know i i catch i mean a lot of people poke fun at me when i do my miscast shows because they're like there's nothing wrong with this and it's like there is you see that tiny tiny little dot in there it's like it my name like my name is going on this like yeah. i need it to yeah. represent everything that i want to represent you know so like if if it's not perfect I feel like that makes a bad impression on me, you know, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, that's, that's, it's, it's a lot of work people. It's, that's, I, here's a funny story. This actually happened to me today. Uh, I posted that picture on my Instagram of all the minis lined up before I shipped them out to the artist and a factory in China messaged me and said, Oh, I see that you found a factory to print all your minis. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, me. Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> like, and they're pointing out these little, uh, they put these red lines next to all these little spots on the, on the resin figure. And it wasn't scratched. It wasn't in all it was, was when you put them together in a bucket afterwards, they kind of just get a rub and you just lick it and you, you know, you can just wipe it off. There's no, there's no scratch on it. And they pointed out all these little things that they could have done better. And I'm like, whatever. But no, I did it myself and they're perfectly fine. You'll, you'll never see what they were even talking about. So it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Do, do you use um, water wash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me too. I do because of the smell. I just, and now I have everything out in the garage now. So it's not as bad, but I, I just, it's easier to clean up. Uh, yeah. It smells better, and I I just can't deal with the alcohol smell. I definitely wear a respirator. Like when yeah. I, I I put it on when I even open like take the lid off of my printer because it is like so. I enclose mine now. I I bought an enclosure for the machines, that. and that really yeah. helps helps a lot. Yeah, Rock Rock had a had some really red eyes one time. I'm assuming he wasn't he wasn't wearing the proper PPE. I I think <laughs> what it was coming down to it was either. Uh, the I think it was airbrushing actually when I airbrushed a ton of stuff, and um, I always wear a mask when I airbrush anyway. But I uh, now I have a big respirator, but I don't wear goggles when I airbrush because I can't see. You know, I want to be able to. So now I was watching Red Guardian on one of his uh, lives airbrushing, right? And I could see the mist coming after it hit the the toy coming back, and you can just see all that mist was probably going all going in my eyes. Yeah, so sure. yeah. yeah. And yeah. I have a vented uh, airbrush booth and everything, but you're still going to get that residual coming back. So uh, now I mask up completely and it's been fine. So, but yeah, we have a, uh, a, a good friend in the community whose daughter uh, has started, started to kind of get into the, the resin game and she's very talented at only 15 years old. Uh, you guys probably know Mo and her daughter, Maddie. Um, and I know that they've, you know, looked to you for some advice along the way, Philip, they always speak very highly of you and how helpful you've been in the process. And I think that speaks not only to you just as a, as a good dude, but I feel like the community and the artists in general in this game, 
are very generous with their knowledge and kind of giving down information to, you know, Rock or you or now Maddie, you know, and, and kind of how to do the process. It seems very selfless in many ways. Um, there are some gatekeepers. Yeah, there is. Which is, is dumb. You know, I mean, it's like, do you just lack confidence in your ability? Like, do you think that, uh, you know, we're not coming for you. Like, yeah, just, right. I just, I just want to be able to do it too. You know, like, yeah. I've, I've long said, like, if anybody has any questions, just hit me up. Like, I'm, you know, I'm by no means any type of authority. Uh, and like I said, I've only been doing this for a year. But like, anytime I can help somebody with something, like, I'll obviously point you in the right direction. Um, you know, some people have been like, oh, I'm, this is very hard to do. So I'm not going to tell you how to do it. It's like, yeah, no, like I had to, I had funny. to walk the, the crazy line. You got to walk it too, type of thing. And now it's, that's ridiculous. I mean, I feel like, you know, and I've said it time and time again in many different arenas, but, you know, rising tides raise all ships, you know, there's, there's plenty out there for everybody. Right. And, uh, you know, I think, I think, uh, you know, it's good then that there are people like yourself and Rock, who's helped a lot of the artists kind of get their figures off, uh, you know, off center and kind of going and things like that. So that's what we need more of is more, more Phillips, more Rocks, more Maddies, more, you know, many of the other artists out there that are generous with their knowledge time and, and, uh, well, and ditto, you know, this too, because we did your cow, like yeah. once you get that figure, it's such a cool feeling yeah. to get from a, from a drawing or an idea that you had to actually holding your toy. Like it's such a great feeling. And I, I just want to pass that on to any other artist that's helped me in the past, you know, yeah. and it's just, it's a great feeling to have your piece in your hand. Don't think <laughs> that that sounded really bad, but you know what I mean? The toy. Then it's it's awesome. Giggity. It's it's tough to like be a collector too and make something that's like really good, you know. It's just like I don't want, I want, you know, no. I want to keep this, like, yeah. you know, and like, I, to be totally selfish, like I do, you know, not to uh, totally rip off Rick Rubin, but like he's totally right. Like I do this for me, you know, and like I think it's great that people like them. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, you know, you'll never see me do something that is like, I don't know. It's just, I, it's a very self, it's very selfish. Like, yeah. but I, in not, not in the way that it's like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, this right. is just for me, but like, I didn't get into this. I just got into it to, to create. You're, you're not going to, gonna for, you're not going to force feed a character just to try to appease the masses. You're going to create something that means something to you. Right. Yeah. And like this, the Kawhi's little chibi figure, you know, I watch drug free Dave who does, who gives like nomad tutorials on YouTube. Uh, y'all should follow him on Instagram as well. I'm actually in the process of learning nomads. So I'm going to write that cool. down. Yeah. Drug free Dave. Uh, he's awesome. And his tutorials on YouTube are great. And he did one where he's like, I'm just going to use the sphere to make a figure. And I was like, I'm going to try that. And like, you know, it came up with this. I was like, I kind of want to make like a little chibi kawaii looking figure um, anyways. And this is kind of what came up. And like, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you're it's still, fun. You're, you're, you're killing it, Philip. I mean, you've gone uh, a long way in just a year. Um, as you. is Rock. I mean, both of you guys, you, you guys are sharing, like I said, similar journeys with just different kind of roads, you know, right. um, but it's, it's, it's cool to watch both, both of them, uh, much like B like in her rise, you know, in, in her art uh, journey. And now E uh, in his rise to his art journey. It's, it's a fun oh, please. He's rolling his eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's what he does. That's so, what he does. Yeah, but, but it's, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun thing to watch. Like, especially when you know the person even a little bit, um, and you can sit back and you can just watch like the success. I'm, I'm rooting for you, buddy. Like literally every time you put out a post or you got a new character or whatever, I'm going to be there to support you because I think what you're doing is, you know, good, just like rock and just like B and just like, you know, all of the creatives that we know and all these cool artists we're getting to meet. It's fun to root for that person. I want to see you succeed. You know, I, I can't you. wait until you're hopefully the next Arctic Fox who's putting out a piece and they sell within seconds or the next Christopher Luke or the next, you know, insert name. 
Um, and I think that's not too far down the road for you. I really do. I mean, I know that you're set up and you're going to a couple of cons this year. Mm-hmm. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I was thinking um, the same thing, Phil. What's your, what's your con situation going to be? Like, what are you bringing? Uh, I'm just going to Collected Con. I mean, I'm, as, as a vendor, D, you know, Decon, I don't want to miss out on anything. And, like, I don't want to be stuck at my booth when Scott Tollison drops some, like, a sick shard, right. you know, or when Arctic Fox is doing, like, her scavenger hunt thing or all that. It's like, oh, well, I'll see people running all around all over the place, you know, like like we did this, this year, uh, Jim. I mean, you yeah. see people going everywhere trying to find – her little hints and stuff and like every just two, sitting about there. every hour and a half two hours i'd see philip and the gang come by the booth they'd stop and like get a water or something they're like taking a break <laughs> trying to do this scavenger hunt thing and i'm like dang they're committed yeah and it's crazy but it, i mean it's fun you know we've um, never done decon we really i'm so this, excited this, this oh, and it's this gonna day. be it's gonna be in vegas and it's just gonna be so much debauch like yeah. it's just gonna be crazy it's gonna be great. um i'm a little stressed out trying to figure out everything uh, that I'm going to do. I've just got like a big, a busy second half of the year with travel and stuff. And like, you know, I've been furloughed from the newspaper since uh, the day after Christmas. And like, I've just got, you know, I don't know. It's just stressful. Like depending on, you know, the hustle as opposed to like a steady paycheck. Uh, So like, I'm trying to figure out everything that I'm going to do and embrace it um, as well. Uh, it's, it's been, it's a, it's a great learning process. Um, currently I'm making my, my stuff for collected con. Uh, I'm going to have, um, I'm just going to do maybe like five figures, all OG and um nice maybe a couple of the citizens. Um, I've got a vinyl toy coming out uh, that um, that's being done by uh, SSZRD in China. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's the, uh, the one on the log with the little worm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, the mold just, they just finished the mold. Um, and uh, hopefully the, everything will be done um in a couple of weeks and like that's really exciting and but it's really expensive i mean it's costing me like forty two hundred dollars you know and like i I didn't want to do you know now i understand why people do pre-orders um you know i had to do 50 regardless but like i don't know it's hard to have stock and like trust and faith in yourself um i've got a great base of support like i really do but like it you know i've got 50 of these things coming in it's scary right i don't know if they're gonna sell i know i'll sell at least 10 right (laughs) like 10 is not gonna be yeah right yeah yeah right yeah you got four right here the yeah, way I mean, I, the way I look at it, Philip, is like for one, I'll have inventory that's already done, right? Like I can take it to shows, I can sell them there, I can sell them on whatnot if I need to, Pop Shop Live, whatever. And then, of course, you're going to have your supporters probably each grab one. Um, so it is, it's a scary process, you know, because I still I came up with the money for my toy out of my own pocket just so right. I could. Don't have, yeah, you should do pre orders and get that money in first. But I didn't want to have that waiting period for the customer, right? Because I hate hate that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So I didn't want that waiting period of having to wait till it got funded and all that. I wanted to get it here in time. And so, yeah, it is expensive, but you got to take that leap, right? You got to, for sure. And it, It'll be addicting. I already want to do Frank in vinyl. I already want to do that figure in vinyl. So don't know if that's ever going to happen, but it's addicting, right? It's But you're relying on somebody else to do it. So that's the scary part. Right. And, you know, this 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 manufacturer, they've their their clients are Pop Mart and Kid Robot. And um, they've made Bear Bricks and they used to make the cause figures. And I mean, it's it's I, I've got complete faith in that. 
you know, but it's like, are people going to like what I made? You know, it's like, I, I, it's just, uh, you know, if the money is in the mold. It costs the, the mold itself costs $2,100. That's, um, That's a good price. Uh, Chad, yeah. if you're, if you're uh, planning on supporting the new uh, vinyl figure by Philip. Do we have a picture of this? Have you showed that what it looks like? Um, I've shown, I don't, I've got like, I can show you the sculpt and it's painted on Nomad. Okay. I was gonna um, say, maybe I'm, if you announce this. I haven't this, seen it. I haven't seen it yet. So I, and I'm doing the box art for it and it's going to come in a windowed box. Um, and, uh, I think it's going to be, you know, I think it's going to look really nice and present really well. Um, I'm thinking about given that I have something, you know, nearly you know because i haven't finished paying for it yet because you pay in installments as the process goes along um uh i'm thinking about doing it as a kickstarter knowing that it is fully funded and you're gonna get it regardless um uh you know that might add a little more um incentive to sign up for it and yeah, I'm going to give, um, I'm going to give, uh, you know, like first backers, um, I'm going to print out a version of it, you know, and then, um, so that's it. Aww. What's it's, the worm's um, size? What's the worm's name? Woodworm. Ditto. Woodworm. So, so it's wise and woodworm. Um, and they're on a little log. The worm is resin. Um, this is the colorway as well. Um, what size gosh. is that going to be, Philip? Uh, it's going to be uh, four inches. Nice. Um, yeah, and you know, I don't. I just. <sighs> you got about twenty supporters already in the chat, so uh, you're going to at least sell twenty five of them. Don't worry, Philip. So let's Philip, let's do this. Let's have you. Let's have Chuck you back on. on. Too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Let's have you. Those back aren't pause feet. They're Chuckas. When you're Sorry, ready, I don't mean to keep interrupting. When you're ready to sell, when you're ready to, whenever you have your Kickstarter up or however you're going to do it, I recommend you just do it yourself and have them PayPal you because Kickstarter is going to take a cut. But oh. as soon as you as soon as you do that, let us know and we'll have you back on to where we can help you sell some on the show. That, thank you. That's very kind. I really you know? appreciate that. Yeah, and I will you. also do my normal deal and I'll buy one as a giveaway so that we can have a fun cool. DT4 thank you. giveaway too. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. I do you are you thinking that by collected con they would be available? Oh yeah, they should be available by the end of April at the latest. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Really? So you're not yeah. going to send them over on the boat. You're going to pay the extra to get them quicker. Um, well, they told me after they finished it that it would be done. Uh, that um, once the mold is done, production and painting into my hand is like 30 days. And they wow. just sent me the mold last night. Nice. That's got to be a pretty exciting feeling, man. Congrats. It is. I'm a little anxious about it, you know. I mean, understandable, but still, embrace the embrace the uh, the exciting part of it. Don't don't let the anxiety. I'm trying. Get the, uh, yeah. So so, this is happening on my end. I like Philip. I know exactly how you're feeling. It's so cool to hear you talk about it, because I've been on pens and needles waiting to see a sample of mine, and yesterday, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick up on it. This is the China factory with my figures already painted. Um, they just got to put them together and then do the graphics. Um, and then the samples will be at Mouth's house tomorrow. So I should have the wow. in hand sample by the beginning of next week. So it is such a cool. I know exactly how you're feeling. It's it's such a cool feeling, but it's you're ready. Like, come on, hurry up. Like, you're not making it yourself. So it's like, you know, right, right. Um, I, have to, I have to intercept that before um, this weekend. I have to take that. And yeah, get... mouth might take it with. I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Good call, E. Uh, well, we're we're just over the hour mark here. So um, first off, Chad, if you have any questions for Philip House of Wise, uh, please ask them. We're happy to have Philip answer those. I have questions. a question. Do please. resin do resin artists collab? 
like can you mm -hmm. collab with resin yeah 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 well me and sketch are doing one me and sketch are collabing on one so like yeah it's on um for 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 your platform jim it's you know y yours are like more customizable i guess right. than than um mine are i've sent some blanks out you know like to like lost um he painted on some but i don't as far as like you know it it wouldn't be I, I don't i mean i'm trying to think of like as resin like you can't pour like half a half a cast and then send it off it would have to be like a pre-plan like all right, I'm gonna send it back and forth. Like this is what I want to do. Okay, or like the digital, you could do the digital collab for the mold. I right, you one. could like sculpt together. Yeah. Is Sketch? Are you still in the chat, Sketch? If Me sketch and Ditto is... actually collabed one time on a mold, and we it, we, oh, we yeah. basically like recreated the ghost scene in, in the movie Ghost. Yeah, yeah. It was me holding E. Pottery wheel. Very romantic. Uh -huh. That'll be well, released in twenty twenty six. To me, the beauty of and the artistry that comes with resin casting is the 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 actual resin itself you know so like it it just would be that's why i was asking because to me it would be hard you don't want to paint over something like this where you've got all the beautiful like detail in it and right. then resin printing the artistry is more in the design of the print and then after it's printed then painting it or customizing right. it mm -hmm. so that's the uh, to me that's the difference in me, me and Sketch have one that we collabed on. Uh, it's going to make its appearance in the Series 4 minis. Oh, and the oh, four inch cool. figure is going to be for Collected Con. Nice. And uh, wait, nice. wait till you guys see it. It's Mr. Sketch in one of my figures. So we did it together. I already, nice. I just can't show it off without him saying yes. I have one already tested printed and it looks really good. So well, I'm going to make tag sketch in here. Like, like the Philip is going to be in the series two of the cows with, that's already been announced and he got the mold. So he's going to play around with that. And I, I gave him a couple of ideas like, you know, kind of using his artistry and we've kind of bounced a couple of ideas off each other. So I think there's some <laughs> version of collabing even Philip. There in is. Here. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, I don't, our off friend from down under and I've been talking. Yeah. Is well. Um, yeah, so you might see like something coming up then. You got the huh? double cast. You can like collab double cast wise too. I think that's really cool. Right. Yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, there's, there's ways, uh, murder bird and I were talking about doing something, um, in the future as well. Uh, and that, that's just more like, you know, you, you collab on the sculpt as a, yeah. you know, um, so Phil going back to, Going you want to yo, go ahead, B. I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, so the reason I asked that question is, so if you could collab with any resin artist, who would be your like dream collab? Um, I mean, don't, don't just say me because it, I'm on the show. <laughs> don't say, me. say hot actor. Yeah, it would be That's Reb for say. sure. Yeah, yeah, Reb for sure. Um, you know, he's, he's somebody who, uh, I've, I've long, uh admired his work um spent a lot of time hanging out with him at decon during the convention uh you know we talked about a couple things and he he brought up you know um me maybe sculpting something for him uh some point this year but i just i, I want to make sure that i'm as uh fine-tuned and skilled as possible before i can you know commit to something like that just because of you know the 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 over admiration and like you know i no, wouldn't i wouldn't want it to be you also have to push yourself though philip the more you oh, for sure yourself. yeah totally and like you know you i get better every time i do it right like yeah. um you know and i do think i i i can do anything because youtube allows me to learn how to do anything sure yeah um and that that's that's with i'm not going to say like painting or drawing or anything like that because i feel like that's like a next level talent that like you know isn't something where you're like oh i'm just going to watch a tutorial on how to paint you know it's like you got to practice to like learn how to do that stuff um well you know uh but like I feel confident enough to where I can look at, at something. 
I know what the stuff on the program means. So like, I know how to do it, but again, it's just like a big, it's just a big, that's, that's a lot of, um, I'm not going to say, I mean, it is pressure, but it's like, you know, it's you just got something a pressure pot. You'll be fine. You got, you got a pressure <laughs> pot. You'll be good. Do you want to, do you want to hint on what you're going to, Philip is going to be in series four of the minis. Mm -hmm. If you guys did not know that you want to hint on what you're actually going to put in the boxes for this, or is it still uh, a top you, secret? You know, I'm still, I mean, maybe this guy, you know, I mean, I think he's a good size for it. Um, I've been, I've been thinking about what to do. I think I maybe just need to bring the wings in a little bit. But I like him. He looks like he's about to take flight. Like he's right, yeah. I do. Or, or maybe pull him back a little bit. You know, I don't know. Um, it's cute. Or uh, <laughs> I know uh, you would, you would said maybe, maybe this guy. Um, so maybe him. You know, I don't know. Um, I've got till I've got a month, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, I'll, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe three different things. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. That'd be fun. So anything else that you want to, uh, to tease for this, for this upcoming year? Um, I mean, the vinyl toy was a pretty huge, uh, yeah, that's a big, uh, that's a biggie right there. Yeah. You, you can, I don't know. No, not okay. really. Well, let's you follow me on Instagram. At Philip underscore P underscore one L P H I L I P. Before we part ways, and we'll give all of those uh, credentials out uh, before we let okay, you go cool. here um, and, and promote your upcoming show tomorrow and all of it. Um, let's uh, let's learn a little bit about the man behind the artist. Uh, you know, you got to get to know Philip because he's a dope dude. By the way, if you guys, uh, this, this is a big bad dad joke right coming up right here. Ready? Uh, if you and Rux collab, it'll be one K and one L, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. All right. So <laughs> it's a thinker, guys. It's a thinker. Wow. All right. So, uh, <laughs> and they both have a Z in because because Rux earlier was like, oh, I like names that have Z's in it. That's right. <laughs> House of House of Wise. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, so anyway, let's learn a little bit about the the, the dope human behind the the uh, the incredibly talented uh, resin uh, caster. Um, so we always like to ask, like when you're in your creative process. Now, your creative process, I imagine, might be a little noisy sometimes, uh, but maybe not. I, are you ever popping in earbuds? You have a playlist? Are you watching TV in the background? What is that like? Um, yeah, I, I typically just have like the TV going in the background. Yeah. And what are you? What do you watch? What are you watching? Like, what are your few your favorite? Um, it's something that I know I don't need to pay attention to. Okay. So like. Simpsons, The Wire, Sopranos, uh, South Park, something that I've nice. seen ad nauseum to where I can just like listen for the nuance. <laughs> and how, how about musical playlists? Like if you're just driving, jamming in your car or whatever, what is, what is Philip? Um, Philip likes uh, rap and hip hop. Well, more hip hop. Um, you know, I like, like Griselda, Wu-Tang, uh, Red Man is one of my favorites. Um, big pun. Uh, you know, I was born in 1983, so like a lot of like 90s rap, hip hop, Buster Rhymes. <laughs> one of my favorites. So freaking young. Um, what, about, what, what about Yacht Rock? Are you pouring pouring any of that? I, I do. You know, uh, sometimes it depends. Like, so I have panic attacks sometimes, and like Yacht Rock really helps uh, with that. Oh, no, um, really? So. So does uh, like Bossa Nova. I'll listen to to that. Um, I do also like, you know, like a bunch of like, what do they call it? Um, Spotify said I listened to like 186 genres of music last year, which is just wow. there. That doesn't even exist. Like, yeah. you know, but they come up with like these sub genres of rock and like indie indie pop and stuff like that, you know, but like. I like Beach House and um, Wise Blood and Beirut, uh, Tame Impala, um, you know, uh, but also like a lot of like Southern rap, uh, Outkast. Uh, Can't go wrong with Outkast. Yeah. What, kind of uh, what about if you were going to get thrown from, from your island in Denver <laughs> to, your, to, a, to an, a tropical island somewhere and you could only bring like five movies with you? What, what are those movies that you're bringing with? Um, that's so, uh, you know, Pulp Fiction is one of my favorite movies. 
Um, I also like, uh, you know, Inglorious Bastards is pretty good. Right. Um, I, I, you know, I, like, I do like Quentin Tarantino. I'm about to say Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I know those are all like yeah. three Tarantino films. Forrest Gump is good. And then uh, let's, like Zoolander. Nice. You know, or, or yeah. something in that vein, you know. Kind of, kind of a cool eclectic mix. All right. Then my final question for you is I know you're, you know, obviously you, you, you said you had a, a past in the culinary arts. And we do always have like ACB and others that are kind of foodies and lo love the food questions. So, uh, what is your favorite food or foods? And then in Chicago in August, what are you most looking forward to having? Um, so, pr pizza is probably like my favorite food. It's a it's the the perfect vessel for um, you know sauce cheese meat vegetables like carbs bread. yeah I, I i do like you know italian food is probably my favorite like right. uh mm -hmm. cuisine for sure um as far as when i get to chicago uh you know i mean it's hard to find a good italian beef sandwich here in denver so like i'm looking forward to hopefully going into portillo's at least once you know yep. um but pizza there too. Yeah. You know, like Lou Mal's is what I've had most. So, um, so traditional I'm, Chicago. No, how about a hot dog? You looking forward to a Chicago dog at all? Um, yeah, you know, tomatoes are fine. Like I don't really like raw tomato. Okay. Uh, which I know I said, I like, like Italians, my favorite, but most of those tomatoes are cooked. Um, you know, I'll, I'll eat bruschetta cause like they're marinated, you know, okay. marinating is like a, you know, depending on what you put in, it's like a it kind of cooks it. But, uh, yeah. so somebody asked about ketchup earlier. I think it was Michelle. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think, uh, ketchup is childish. And, uh, is it, <laughs> Ian Beeb left the chat. Yeah, he's like, oh, um, man. When it comes to a hot dog, I'm very much a purist. Like, I just want mustard on it. That a boy. All right. Well, that's the last question I have. Rock, uh, EB, anything for Philip before that's we like, go? Ben, drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, Philip. It's just great to have you finally on. And um, I really appreciate it. I'm excited to watch your, your vinyl journey as well. Um, that's going to be you. fun. Um, and just again, Philip is one of the guys that he no problem he send me the file for frank and we'll get him casted and we'll we'll do a a pour of them so yeah i mean i appreciate that that's 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 what i do as well like i don't we don't need gatekeepers in our community like to share the wealth help everybody out and philip is one of those guys that if you need help Thanks. he's he's the guy so I, don't know, Rick, I asked you how to get hair like you one time and you said that well you gotta have very, the hair very protective of his hair you got to have the hair, though. You, the products. you got to have hair to spike. Like, Philip, he could do his hair like this. <laughs> yeah. Guys, you, you resin guys stick together. Yeah. All right. Well, well Philip, man, we love you, buddy. Honestly, you are a uh, – we say it time and time again, but it's so true. Uh, you are a really, really cool guy. Uh, I'm proud to call you a friend, uh, and I can't wait to get to finally meet you in Chicago here later this year. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a great time. But, uh, guys, please go support Philip. Check him out, House of Wise. Uh, give out your IG handle re real quick. Uh, Philip underscore P underscore. Yeah, there it is. One L. There it is. And then do you have anywhere where people, other than the show that you're having tomorrow and those pop-ups, where people can just buy your stuff regularly? I do have an Etsy page. Um, it's linked in my bio on Instagram. Okay. It's like you know, Etsy.com slash house of lies, I think. And then of course, tomorrow over on pop shop live, you got a dope show coming up. Why don't you talk a little bit about that at the time? And um, uh, I'll go support that tomorrow as well. I've got a lot, a, a lot of really nice pieces. Um, this might be like the, so far the best collection that I've presented. Um, I'm, there are a couple that are, uh, runs. I've got like the creamsicle one um, that is going to be LE5. And there's one chase. Sorry. Um, there's one chase and it glows really well. And you can see that on my Instagram. 
Um, I'm also doing a mystery box of, um, and it, it's $35, which means that everything in it is well below retail. It's going to have some older OG figures, um, the last iteration of uh, Ophelia's, um, four of which glow in the dark. Uh, well, there's a series of four, and all four of them glow in the dark, and then there's two uh, solos. Um, one is an LE2, and the other one is also an LE2, but I've kept one of them, so it's basically just a one-off. So um, all overvalue mystery box tomorrow. Yes, uh, and there will also be two meditating wises in there as well. Nice. Uh, and those retail at seventy-five, so um, that's the, a big deal. Uh, like you know, those uh, will go quick. So get there on savings. time, guys. It's, it's like, Chicago money, man. Right. Awesome. Yes. Um, I am definitely uh, trying to stack some money for Chicago. So uh, it's, please it's help me get there. Exactly. It's going to be great. Chicago's so, going to be awesome. We're going to get to meet so yeah. many people. Um, so, yeah. It is going to be really fun. I hope everybody is able to make it. It's the first, uh, it's the inaugural collected con and the people that are putting it on are, are very fine. And folks. you're sharing a table with one of our favorites. Uh, yes. Miss uh, Big Earn Toy Queen. We love her. Um, call her Aaron. There she is. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron. Don't use those government names here. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Gubby. Well, Gubby. Gubby. Um, well, all right. So, so tomorrow, Pop Shop Live. If you guys don't have the Pop Shop Live app, it's easy. Just go, do, just go download it in your app store and uh, go look for House of Wise tomorrow. What time again? Six thirty-five Mountain Time. The only eight, time zone eight, that counts. Eight thirty-five Eastern. <laughs> eight thirty-five uh, Eastern, guys. Yeah, that was for you, Rock. Go, go <laughs> follow <laughs> Philip, guys, and uh, support the man. And we will see you at a Collected Con, and of course tomorrow on Pop Shop Live. So, love um, you, buddy. real yeah. quick, yeah. just thank you all very much for having me on. I really do appreciate it. Of course. Uh, of course. Anytime, anytime, are, anytime Philip, and please people. let us know when your toys <laughs> able to be pre-bought. And we'll bring you back on. Okay, I'll do that for sure. Just thank for a quick, even if it's you know for ten minutes, and we get some sold for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. Don't be and afraid I'll, to ask to come back on. I'll definitely I appreciate match that. one and uh, and then do a nice giveaway with it and get you some extra stuff too. Thank you very much, uh, right. and thank you all for watching as well. Uh, cool. All right, all right, Philip. Thanks, Philip. Thanks, Have a great night. Guys, don't go anywhere because we are going to bring on an Aussie. Uh, speaking of a uh, Mister uh, Rux. <laughs> And uh, he's got a very special giveaway that he's going to do uh, here. Is he in the green room? Yeah, yet? he is. He All is. Right. Let's bring him in. What's up, Rex? Hurry up. Let's go. What do you got for us? Two, oh! time, two times in two weeks, man. <laughs> man we're kind of getting sick of you, but let's let's finish <laughs> off with uh, oh, whatever. Roxy. Oh, man. Roxy's not, Roxy's not, not speak for us. Too, you know? Maybe like um, and then like I'll be the the most seen guest on these. Are you streaming like, from your closet? By yeah, some are you a, in your closet? Very echoey today. Oh, uh, I can I can swap devices. That's okay. You don't need to. We'll we'll get through it. So uh, let's let's set this up very quickly, guys. For those of you that don't know. Uh, Rux One has a very special um, drop right now that's on artdecipher.com. Um, I will pull that up while we're doing the giveaways and everything here. And what is that drop I, I, called? I shut Rux it down. What? Oh, it's, you shut it down? It's okay. Okay. So then the uh, then it's over. So you missed it. But maybe it's maybe over. if you're lucky, they'll come again. Um, if you were lucky enough to get one, you got two really cool resin printed custom figures by Rux and Brain Deef, who are uh, incredibly talented Australian artists. And I think he's going to show us those right now. Um, yeah. And it came with a, a bunch of stickers. So there you go. It's got a butt. Yes. A butt. I, I love that video. <laughs> Me too. My favorite. Oh, thank you. Very professional. And then yeah. Mr. Brain Deef's guy. I, I gotta hold him together because this was the first print he's since fixed the arms because they keep falling it off. If you wonder why I always hold it weird, my pet's <laughs> arms are falling off. Um, so yeah, I told him to hurry up and get me one so I could take a photo and do the pack. Um, and then yeah, he's since obviously fixed it. And so I'm if you it. if you were fortunate enough to have gotten on artdecipher.com over the past couple of weeks and bought those mm -hmm. in the first week, you got five entries into this giveaway. And if you bought it in the second week, you got two entries into the giveaway. 
And then if you were one of the 20 some people that came in and uh, were kind enough to, to uh, join in the comments section of, of that episode, and please go check it out. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, you can just go to DT4 on this thing, go right back and watch all those past episodes. Rux one had you uh, hashtag car wash. And if you did that, you got an extra entry. And some of those people didn't even buy the Slappy Meal, and they still got uh, in for the giveaway, right? Yes. Okay. So there you go. So now uh, Rux has put together a wheel of names. Um, mm. Rux, I'm going to hand the baton to you, my friend. Take it home and let, uh, tell people what they're getting, first and foremost, because this is an insane giveaway. And then we will let you go ahead and, and do the honors, my friend. Well, thank uh, you. Yeah, well, thanks for thanks for keeping the hair secrets, you know, close to your chat. Yeah, I appreciate right. that. We, we got to keep that under lock. Me yeah. and Rock actually share some similar hair care tips. Yeah, uh, none. We, that's our collab. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be self-taught. Like, the, you know, I'm gonna come up with the Afro one. Day. Uh, first, first of all, before I get into this, and I know we're gonna try and wrap it up, but Mr. One L, how cool was that show? I was just sitting yeah. there, and just yeah, such a lovely human, and yeah, potentially keep an eye out on something. We've been chatting before I even knew he was gonna be on DT4, so this was kind of just cool. such a natural, so, natural thing. So, hey, Ruxy, while you're doing, while you're pulling up the names and stuff, uh, Sketch yeah. just pulled up into the chat again. Sketch, I gotta ask you: the people wanted to see our resin collab that's going to be in series four of the minis can i show it off all right he doesn't want to see it everybody but e has to <laughs> he has to look away you close, you close your eyes eye muffs ear muffs see eye muffs all right okay. ruxy he said show it but i gotta go get it so keep going uh, all right keep we'll going. end the show with that rock let's do yeah. the giveaway first all right. all right i was gonna try and share screen but it came up with some warning stuff so i'm just gonna do it from the ipad i was prepared for either way okay all right so we have a lot of names in there Ooh. so we've got all the youtube ones at the top um, and then for the sake of not sharing government names i've put the art decipher order number because I don't want to go and out anyone live on YouTube. Uh, so if it does come up with the order number, I will send you a message via email because even I might not know your government name compared to Instagram. So just calling that out first. So as you can see, the earlier order numbers, there is five entries. And then when we get down to the bottom, we've got the two entries. All right, so if it does wind up being an order number, uh, Rux, what we would ask is um, tomorrow, uh, hit me up on the side because sometimes if you don't know a name, I might or E or B or Rock might. Yeah, and, that, and we can we can connect the dots for you. But then we we will want to announce that on the DT4 uh, IG handle as well. So keep us yes, posted. Yes, uh, one hundred percent. That sort of go caution and not completely out someone that probably would not appreciate that. All right, now so because you had put the names in order, do you want to keep them that way or do you want to do a shuffle? I was going to say we can do a shuffle. Um, okay. I'm down to. Any number, really? Like, All pick right. Let's four. Let, uh, B, four. pick somebody in the four. chat. Four. four. I like what you All did. Right. There we go. Yeah. yeah. All right. There you go. So let me do this on camera because no funny business. One, two, three, and that's four. Oh. And now before you hit before you hit that go button, tell people what they're getting because this is an insane. Oh yeah, that's probably one. good. <laughs> All right, I like I can't take it off screen now because I don't want anything to look dodgy. <laughs> I'll hold it here and tell people that you could win. Well, pick uh, a winner, a custom... pick a winner, and then tell them what they won. All right, yeah, let's do that. Because yeah, I good, good luck, guys. Good luck. <laughs> My forearm is jacked right now. <laughs> I know your arm is going to get tired. Who, who is it? Is it an order number? All right, it is one ninety one. Oh, so that, wow, that was one of the later orders too. Uh, oh, I wonder yeah. if it's the. I oh, no, I, I, know. Could, I could say that is uh, that's actually BK Bricks. Let's go. I was BK. About to... <laughs> Come on, man. BK has had a week. He is on fire. Man. He is on fire. Congratulations, Good grab, Brandon. That is nice, awesome. Buddy. I'm so glad that that worked. So, it was by the way, fun fact BK could... has now won two DT4 uh, associated giveaways. 
Well, he's on fire. Rigged. Is, Hashtag awesome. rigged. That's, yeah. And that's perfect because that's going to, oh, I'll call it rigged because I'm bunking up with BK in Chicago. So. <laughs> you can just bring it to him then. You, you can wait until August. So BK. what did he win, Ruxy? What did he win? What did he win? Uh, he won. It's two custom toys. So it's a custom from Brain Thief and a custom from myself. I am going to leave the rest secret because we're going to have a little bit of fun with it. But you'd get a, a one-on-one custom from myself and a one-on-one custom of Brain Thief on top of the pack that you purchased as well. So you still get those blanks. You still get the postcards. You still get the stickers. And we're going to throw in some uh, one-on-one on top of that. So wow, those, those, those will be good. signed too? <laughs> Come on, man. Yes. Yes, I will try to remember to sign it. If I don't, I'll sign it in Chicago. Okay, that was cool. one time, man. Use one, one of these big pins on it, Ruxy. Yeah. Just, just, just sign really the whole big, figure on yeah. top of the uh, custom draft. He wants you to sign the butt cheek of his Rux figure. <laughs> uh, right in the crack. Hippie, yeah, Hippie actually requested that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I wanted to just say thank you as well to everyone. Um, as you heard in this episode as well, putting a toy out is a costly and risky thing, especially when you're, when you're new. And this is my absolute first toy. Um, so going through this and helping support this slappy mill combo has helped me kind of recoup some of those costs and have the confidence to now push on and do a, a proper public release where I won't have to do a pre-order. So we've gone, we've made the changes, we're ready to go. I'm ready to hold the final version in my hand in a, in a week or two. Um, everyone that ordered got the proto version. So you've got that OG bragging right of, Hey, I had Rux's toy before Rux's toy was Rux's toy. Nice. Um, and yeah, so it's helped me get to that point. We've got a final model and then it'll just become a normal drop release from there and I can enter the toy world. So all, all the support, it just, it's freaking amazing. I still can't believe I have a toy, let alone that now I can release it publicly. Doing these little drops and pre-orders uh, is an ideal, but sometimes that's that's the route we've got to take to, to achieve those dreams and take a little risk or a little gamble, as Rock was saying. Just throw yeah. ourselves out there. Hope it works. Thanks for letting us, you know, join alongside you in your journey. This has been cool to be able to have you on and have, you know, you announce it and, and everything. So. Yeah, it's been crazy. I think I've kind of launched, I launched it on Rocks Whatnot. And then we did the blind boxes with Ditto. We've got this coming here. So I think all that's left is this blank show that's coming up. We're going to have to throw over to the, the EMB stream and kind of make sure yeah. I can do the cycle and share the love. What do you reckon? I say yeah. 100%. Go for it. Now, are the, got, artists, well, we, are the artist submissions still open for that, or is that now closed as well? Yeah, so I will leave that open uh, until later tonight, my time, because we've still got uh, Australians that are reaching out. Um, but yeah, today is that the final day, uh, my time. Uh, time zones are so confusing. Um, so yeah, sign up. It's uh, artdecipher.com. It's still on the homepage, the link. It is just an expression of interest for now. I'm gaining the information of who can be available when and the price points and so on and so forth. And with that information, I'll go secure a venue and then put forward a final offer. So if you're umming and ahhing and thinking I might be able to, I might not, you're better off just registering. And then later when I confirm, you can just say, sorry, I can't actually confirm at this stage. Yeah. So your best bet is to pick the really venue and date and, and let the artists uh, participate as they can. You know, I think that's that's your best bet. Yeah, because we, we had one today. He's like, I'd love to commit, but I, I don't want to you know, say yes and then can't commit. Like, that's the whole point of it right now. We're, we're getting in ground floor because I still need to go out and hire a venue, secure a venue, buy some displays, uh, figure out how much it's going to cost to produce that many blanks and all that fun stuff. So this is helping me get to that point. <laughs> Well, it's very exciting. Again, congrats, Rux, to you and Brain Deef for uh, putting out your very first uh, figures. Um, it's been a great, as oh, we said. Oh, well, I want to take that from uh, Mr. Brain Deef as well. He he helped me get to this point. He's been, I don't even know how long that dude's been doing toys, but he is an absolute wizard in the sculpt. And to download my brain and get it, like, perfect uh, it is a skill in itself. So massive credit. Um, you can account for that too, Rux. We've got a vision. And then actually making it physical is a whole different ball game. <laughs> so many back and forth edits. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ruxy, we love you, buddy. Thank you again for allowing us to be uh, just a small part of this amazing giveaway and this journey. Uh, as B said, it's awesome. We will uh, set you back into the chat. Congrats again, BK. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. And uh, Ruck, we'll definitely have you, you know, again, back on as Anytime you have something cool coming up, just let us know. As Rock always says, no, was trying you're trying always a part of the family, buddy. All right, Rexy. Go, go, so get those, 
go get those ends fixed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, appreciate you guys and everything that you do. I, I love the show. I love everything that happens individually. I, I can't thank you enough. And I'm going to keep thanking you. So get used to it. We appreciate right. that, buddy. Thank you. I love you, Rex. Later. Here, man. All right, Rock. So you so, got a big reveal now. Before that reveal, we have another trivia question. Oh. I'll write this down in the chat. Who is the only guest that's been on back to back shows of DT4? That rocks. Yeah. So there's his website, just um, artdecipher.com. We tried to put it in, it won't let us because YouTube, but www.artdecipher.com. So if you're an artist or just want to customize a toy, Go today is your last day, so go do it tonight. Yes, amen. So, so B was B was asking about uh, co collabs with in the toy itself. So, me and Sketch did this a while back, and then we started thinking of what our collab was going to be for Collecticon, and I'm like, dude, we already did it. It's we just never did anything with it. So, this is the prototype. Don't mind the holes in the feet because I'll show you the mini uh, that's going to be in the blind boxes this is oh. this is rex with oh, sketch in his mouth and then oh, you got a boom baby he's holding on to a boom baby that's insane so he's got his nikes on you know he's got the his little the re the rex head that's amazing you guys you guys annihilated that that is so cool so he'll be all painted up and stuff but the for the blind boxes since we're not releasing it until uh, collected con these, these will be just um clear resin different colors so they're not going to be like hand painted yeah. until collected con that's awesome so nice. that's a, Rex congrats that's uh, sketch and rock that's an amazing collab pretty cool it's yeah. pretty good looking that's, that's so, so see you guys that's just that's that oh, and 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 for all you guys you weirdos it does have a butt <laughs> yeah so Nice. So you can you can swing them like that. Me, working, or you can have them sitting down. He can twerk it. He can twerk it. You just made Kest and Tucci very very happy. So he's in love. So that is Rex. a great collab, y'all. That's a that is the way to collab. Very that. nice. And, and um, the, let's show you. The, I'll show you since we have it because you're going to get a sticker in the blind box as well. So we might as well I was show ask it. If y'all had a sticker of it, show it to you. Oh, nice. so cute. Nice. Love so it. There you go. Uh oh. So just That's one it. of one of many announcements to come over the coming month, guys. There's going to be so much. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, we can tell you that Rux and Manny are signing at our booth. Times to be determined and more info coming. Rock and Sketch have a collab. Uh, I know there's some stuff working in these camps right here. I don't want to speak for E&B. Uh, I got something uh, cooking. I so got a little proto right here that nobody can see yet. But. And we got maybe a big announcement coming in the next couple of weeks, but uh, we will save that for a confirmed later date. But stay tuned, guys. Some really cool news coming. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's uh, that's kind of it can't come fast enough and it and it needs to slow, slow down. down. Yeah, slow down a bit. <laughs> slow so, down. E EB, what do you guys got coming up this week or in the next couple of weeks? So this week we are going to be in Austin with a <clears throat> with a kick punch bite for the event that he's putting on. Yep. Um, so there's gonna be some live um, live art. We're gonna have a show, but it's not gonna be a traditional show. We're actually gonna have an artist who many of you know and love. Sketchy uh, sneak. sneak. Wow, I, did a sketchy I do it too. E. I yeah. do that sometimes yeah. too. I did it because I was thinking about it earlier. But uh, sneak. We're gonna have sneak on the show, and we're gonna have a couple of his pieces, and we're gonna run that. So it's going to be like a little a joint co-host kind of deal. Um, and we can expect for some DT4 live uh, pop-ups on IG? Oh, Saturday, yeah, we will definitely. It's from mm -hmm. 6 to 9 Central. Cool. Um, it's at a pizza and tap house in Austin. Nice. They have like a rooftop type balcony situation thing with um, some artists that are going to be doing like big live, you know, battle type situation. So we'll be there. Um, he's going to have his toys. The Texas series toys are going to be there. So we're going to be helping, you know, sell maybe, those. Maybe and, he's going to have Rock's piece. I really hope he does. That way we should He'll it. have it. I just don't know if he's going to bring it. He'll have it. So, so yeah. Well, so we'll be there. We'll go it. live for IG. But then we'll be on. We'll be co-hosting Sneak for our show. 
Well, that'll so. be a lot of fun. Yeah, Sneak's, Sneak's a blast. If you guys haven't seen Sneak on uh, E&B's show in the past or any uh, lives or anything, he is a riot. So you guys are going to want to go check that out. Do you since Rock didn't do it in his show. <laughs> what? Um, what? What did I do? I so said he will be singing Tiny Little Tucci since Rock didn't oh, do I'm it. Oh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure yeah. he will. In, in, in every in every for, version possible, and, I'm sure. Hey, oh, before yeah. I forget, uh, speaking of my show, you guys were there last night. Uh, Hippie, Congrats, Hippie, the golden Wait, ticket. Um, so yes, he did redeem it already. So we don't know who he has oh, yet, but snap, he turned it in. So yeah, Hippie, congrats, man! It couldn't have gone to a better person. That's awesome, buddy. Yeah, man, congrats, dude! I'm happy you got that. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Hippie's a big supporter. He's in he all is. of our streams. He's constantly buying in stuff. He's gifting chats. He's there talking. He's just a good dude. And it couldn't have happened to a nice the, yeah. Sharing the streams, all other people's streams. Yep. So yep. it couldn't have happened to a nicer dude. So hippie, congrats, man. You you definitely deserve that. Yeah. Um that yeah, Rock, that was a fun game too, man. You did you killed it. So uh, Yeah, I, I had two. I had two golden tickets, so I don't need two. Yeah. So I figured I need to get it back and I didn't know how to do it. So I figured that was the most fair way. Well, I'll guess. be getting a, I'll be getting a one of one in somebody's hands here in the nearest future, probably in April sometime. I was going to do something similar to rock, but I kind of wanted to give that breathing room. Um, so you guys will have a chance to get a one of one as well. And I'll keep that posted as far as when sketches, sketches one of one will be in those. That days. is not true. Sorry. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> uh rock how about you do you got anything else obviously you had your show big show yesterday which was cool what else you yeah got that was fun um i just so slammed trying to get these minis i got all out to the artists eb you guys have yours coming um i put it in one box okay. um ditto we already worked yours out so mm -hmm. all the artists have their pieces now we're just giving them a, a little over a month to get them done and we're gonna start building the boxes as soon as we get those in so i'm gonna be painting that's so awesome. So that's gonna be one of the, that's gonna be one of the two pieces I put into the show. My he little a, uh, a tiny cowboy hat. Yeah. yeah, Marty, Marty on top of the cow. I should shout that. out to Sketch for the assistance. Or with some aviators and a chain. There you go. Oh, that would be insane. so. I'm gonna be painting my butt off mini wise for the whole month because yeah. I have to fill all those boxes. So. Yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty crazy, and you'll I'll see, get you'll my. See, uh, you'll see rock on a lot of IG lives or pop shop lives or something. <laughs> and I'll be getting my toy in the next few days, so nice. I'm excited. Congrats on that! And also, guys, special shout out because in two weeks we've got Benny from Tenacious Toys popping on. Maybe a couple other guests. We're not sure on that. And uh, B E and I mean, I'm sorry, B Rock and a lot of the other artists that are in this community are part of that show. So so rock, that's something to look forward to on the 11th. The t yeah, and um, we'll be talking about that on the 10th, the show on the 10th. We'll, we'll talk about that. I forgot to mention that. Yes, um, this Friday, this coming Friday, two days from now, is the drop of the Crush the Can. Um, Mr. Mars and Tenacious. Oh. Tenacious Toys and Mr. Mars both are going to drop them at the same time, so you can determine where you want to buy from. And um, if you buy from Tenacious, let me know. I think, E, you have a code as well. I do so. Yeah. So if you want a code and save 10%, let us know and we'll hook you up. Nice. So it's a really dope figure, too. Man. And I've seen the customs, the sneak peeks on Instagram. Like, man, I saw Grimley's, he's sculpting, dude. It's uh, sneak is sculpting. I mean, rocks is crazy. Like, it's B I hasn't wait. started. <laughs> B broke the arm. I had, to, I had to put it back for B Saldana. You have to get that to New York. Mm -hmm. it's gonna I be know. Dope. It's gonna it's gonna be great. Um, I tried to uh, boil it and I ripped the arm off. So that's that's <laughs> how it's going. Yeah. That's how it's going for me so far. But once once she once she like decides, yeah, should should get into it. Yeah. Side note, Brandon, you won the giveaway from Roxy, so yeah, you get man. um <laughs> you get a custom no brain deep. But you weren't here, and so, Rux, so we had to give it to somebody. We gave else. it to yeah us. <laughs> It is quite a week for you, Brandon. Yeah. Congrats. Oh, cool. Yeah, that thing is. Uh, oh, yeah. So lots of good stuff going on. Hopefully you guys took notes. Uh, so we got Friday. We got Saturday with EMB out in and and um and. Well, I didn't say I didn't say what I got coming up yet, right? No, no. I'm just saying just, we have. He's just ditching this, over me. He's like, yeah, screw no, it. No, no, no. This this week coming up, like we got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Ditto show is on Friday. I don't know what we'll let Ditto talk about that, but there's a lot of drops and 
cool stuff coming. So start writing stuff down as you'll forget. Yeah, um, Friday's Good Friday. Uh, obviously, this is Easter weekend coming up here, guys. So I know that uh, a lot of people spend time with family and they travel and they got spring breaks and all kinds of stuff. So uh, I decided to do something kind of fun. It was actually a, a little inspiration from Pop Couple. They had um, these cool little Easter eggs that they ran on Monday. And I was like, wait, why are they running Easter eggs? And I'm like, oh, this weekend's Easter. So that's that's how much I know. I wound up finding these cool little eggs just to put candy in as part of a mystery box I'm going to do. So there's the E-Face right there. Uh, so there's going to be 15 mystery boxes. They're going to be um, all over value. It's going to be a fun little uh, March Madness uh, Easter Good Friday mystery box. And, uh, you know, probably we'll just play it by ear, but that'll probably be all I do this Friday. And then... Um, I don't have anything cool like Rock and E and those guys and B and all those guys coming up, uh, special shows and things like that and collabs and all the cool stuff. I'm not that cool. But I do uh, have to say I'm very excited about um, the month of April. Uh, I don't want to go too much, but the month of April is just going to be cool across the board. There are so many of the people that we love in the community that have stuff coming up. Sketch has got a tax day show with his daughter that's going to be awesome. Yes, um, and she's coming out with a new figure. She's coming out with a her own toy figure, and I saw it. It's pretty sick. She did a really good job. I can also tease this now officially that Mr. Grouper Dog and I are doing a collab stream on the twenty fifth, I believe it was of of uh, uh, on whatnot. So that'll be fun. Um, we got some fun stuff planned for you guys, uh, and then um, he has his three year show soon too, right? Who, Doesn't uh, he have it? Gr Grouper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, that's uh, the fourth, the fourth of April. Um, yep. He pushed that. I think uh, our buddy BD is doing a show tomorrow. Um, BX is doing a show tomorrow as well. Yeah, um, doing a show. I thought she was on uh, the Creatives Corner or something tomorrow. She's, night. On she both. Is. she's oh. doing both. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yep. So DXC has got some stuff coming up. So a lot, like Rock said, a lot, lot going on. But April is going to be a fun month. Also, um, Big Dog Dave over on Whatnot is doing his fourth annual uh, autism charity of the Puzzle Piece Squared. And there's a ton of people that we all know and love in this chat and in our community that are participating. And let's go support and make that the best year yet because uh, it's for a great, great cause. And we'll um, we'll promote that again on yeah. the 10th, too. Yeah. So keep that in mind. For sure. Otherwise, stay tuned to DT4 underscore live. That's where you're going to get to see Ian B this weekend pop up from uh, the, the Austin show with the mouth. And uh, a lot of news coming up, um, like the collab that Rock and Sketch are doing uh, for Collected Con. And I know B&E got things in the works. And uh, I've got some stuff that's cooking up. And we've got a lot of special guests that are going to be participating in August. So please, please, please go follow that DT4 underscore live. I have one more thing to say. Um, March is Autoimmune Awareness Month. And I, this past like week or week and a half like i have really been struggling with my health and so i missed the show last saturday and i just wanted to say thank you because a lot of people like reached out and like checked in on me and stuff and so you know for you guys that don't know like i have an autoimmune disease it's called mixed connective tissue disease and it's basically an overlap of lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and so um i've been kind of struggling with some med changes and you know dealing with insurance nonsense and stuff but all of that to say that, um, you know, autoimmune diseases a lot of times will affect people. You can't see them. It's an invisible illness a lot of times. And um, so it's important for me with it being the month um, to to just educate people about that. If you have any questions about it, um, you know, reach out to me because I would love to, you know, answer any questions. But I just want to say thank you guys for checking in on me and, um, you know. And I just think it would be, but he ate it. He, he answered the door and he ate it. You didn't, you didn't specify who. <laughs> <laughs> but again, B, thank you for bringing that to our attention because yeah. that, again, that brings up a great point that I say a lot of times you do not know what people are going through. Uh, like B said, it's an invisible. It, you don't know that what this person's going through. So please be nice to each other. It, yeah. It's not that hard. Just be nice. And I, I'm very fortunate to have you guys like in the community. And I just feel like we have a really solid community of, you know, people that, you know, just kind of check in on us and, and we're there, you know, to. So anyways, thank you. And all of that to say that, you know, just um, I love you guys and I appreciate you. And yeah. Well said, B. Um, next year, we should do something for a charity or something for that event. That would be fun. 
Yeah. And well worth it. Worthwhile. Good cause. Uh, Last thing is just, guys, sm- smash the like button. Please, please, please. Everybody in this room, first off, the 20, 30 solid supporters we have every uh, live show. We love you guys. Um, Share but it. If you can just, all, all it takes is the extra step of like hitting that like button and maybe just put post a nice little comment because all of that generates some activity that helps it get out into other people's uh, eyes and ears. And then uh, definitely share it because we do want to grow this because all of these people like Philip and Rux and all the other amazing artists that we've had on, including some that are in this chat, uh, they deserve every bit of this recognition. And again, this is not about rock. This is not about Ditto. This is not about e b It's about the people that we feature on these episodes. And yeah. uh, love us or hate us, you got to love the people that we have on. So uh, please, 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 let's get this out into the masses because we want to grow this uh, very badly. It's passionate uh, for all of us. So. Yeah. And we appreciate all you guys for being here every week. We know we see the chat. We know who's here every week and we do recognize it. We do talk about it afterwards. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So amen, guys. that's all we got for tonight, guys. And you know what we say, everybody be safe, stay happy. And what we just talked about, be nice to each other. Happy Easter and weekend, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, take care.